it is such a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord. I greet you in that saving name, the only name through which men can be saved, the name of Jesus. It is my pleasure to be in the house of the Lord, and it's also a privilege to stand before you this morning. Amen. I welcome you to Kingdom Grace International Ministries. We're about to go in consecration, but I wanted to share with you Genesis chapter 6, and I'll be reading from verses 1 through to 8. Hallelujah. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, the daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always thrive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the daughters of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented God, it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his, at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repented me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And I'll repeat verse 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. May his add his richest blessings. Hallelujah. We're going to go into a time of consecration. I just want you to just open your heart right now to the Holy Spirit. We welcome him. He's here in our midst. We greet you, Holy Spirit. And we say, have liberty in this house this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we lift you up. Father, we adore you. For there is no God like unto you. We come before you this morning with a grateful heart. With a heart of thanksgiving and with a heart of praise. Father, we thank you for life eternal this morning, God. We thank you for resurrection power. We thank you for the cross. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you this morning that we are alive and that we are well this morning. And that we are in your house to give you all the glory. So, Lord, we say take all the glory to Take all the honor, take all the praise. Father, take it all this morning, be enthroned. Father, we praise you, for there is none like unto you. Father, the earth is the Lord's this morning, and the fullness thereof. So, Father, we lift up our heads. Ah, God, unto the hills from whence come it our help. Lord, our help comes from you, for you have made heaven and earth. Father, there is no God like unto you, Jehovah. You are the only righteous God, Lord. No other God is like unto you. Father, we praise you this morning, omnipotent one. We praise you before because we know, almighty God, that you have formed us, almighty God, and you have made us in your own image. So, Father, we thank you even now, Lord, that you thought about us this morning, that you thought about us this morning individually. Father, we thank you even for our families this morning. Father, we bless you, we praise you, we magnify you, we glorify you, Lord. Father, we want to thank you even for the small things this morning. We can walk, Father, we can talk. We have breath in our lungs. Oh, God, and it's enough to praise you this morning. Father, you have been so good to us. Father, you have been our all in all. Father, you have been our rock. You have been, oh God, our place, our hiding place. And so, Father, we thank you that you have covered us continually under your blood. We thank you that you have sheltered us, almighty God, from the storms. Father, we thank you that you have been our provider. And Father, even when sickness should try and rock our bodies, you have been our Jehovah Rapha. So, Father, we thank you for healing us, oh God. 
God. We thank you, Almighty God, for all that you have done for us. Father, we are not ungrateful this morning, but we pray, Almighty God, that you will find us worthy this morning, God. Let your grace be applied to our lives this morning. Father, because of you, Lord, we are able to stand on our graves today, God, to lift up holy hands, to acknowledge you that you are King of kings, that you are Lord of lords. Oh, God, that you are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, we know that there is no God like unto you, Jehovah. And so, God, we reference your presence even now, and we say, take all the glory. Father, we bow before you. As we bow, God, we acknowledge your sovereignty. For God, you are great and mighty. Father, you are almighty. You are all powerful. And Lord, there is none like unto you. And so, Father, as we pray this morning, we thank you, almighty God, even for this house that we're a part of. Father, we pray even now that you will strengthen the shepherd of this house, Father. Father, that you will increase him from glory to glory. Father, that you will speak to him, oh God, that you will tabernacle with him, almighty God. Father, give him the word for each season. Father, give him the word, oh God, to build your people. Father, we pray, almighty God, that no sickness will come nigh his dwelling. Father, we pray that you will cover him in the cleft of the rock. We pray, almighty God, that you will keep him in the secret of your pavilion. We pray, almighty God, according to Psalms 91, that with long life, will you satisfy him, God, and show him your salvation. Father, we thank you for him right now, and we bless your name for him right now. We thank you that he answered the call, God. We thank you, God, that his heart is in the right place. We thank you, God, that he's a man that seeks after your heart. We thank you, God, that he loves you unconditionally. Father, we thank you even now. We bless you for his household to our faith, God. We bless you for his family, God. We pray, Almighty God, that you will continue to be the hand, oh God, that holds him up, Almighty God. We, can, we continue to pray, Lord, that you will be with him, Almighty God, in his going out and his coming in. We pray, Almighty God, that you provide the resources. Lord, we pray, Almighty God, that you will fortify the men and women around him to bear up his hands, Almighty God. We thank you for him now, and we bless your name, Jesus. We thank you for all that you have been doing in kingdom grace. And God, we give you all the glory right now. For thine is the kingdom, God, the power and the glory. It belongs all to you, Lord. And so we worship you even now in the beauty of holiness. For we know, God, that you are almighty, that you are all powerful. Father, we thank you that you are our sustainer. We thank you that you are our source this morning. We thank you that you are our rock this morning. We thank you, God, that there is no God like unto you. And so, Father, we look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. We look to you, the lifter of our heads. We look unto you, Almighty God, for only you can lift men. And so today, God, we praise you. We acknowledge you, God. We worship you. Father, we give you our hearts this morning. Oh, God, we ask you to create within us, oh God, a clean heart even now and renew a right spirit within us. Father, we're just the sheep of your hand this morning. So Father, as we come, Lord, let us lay, almighty God, every, every thing, almighty God, that will beset you from us right now, God. We put it down, almighty God. We lay down the burdens, almighty God. We put them down this morning, God. And we pray, Lord, that worship will come from the inside oh God and that you will delight with our worship almighty God we pray that you will have your way in the sanctuary father let your Shekinah glory fall even now let there be fire oh God from an eye oh God and as you touch your people God I pray Lord that you will touch them in a mark way whatever the needs are almighty God meet it today God I declare this morning over your house that you are a God that your hands are not short you're not lacking anything so father you will give to your children bread oh god you will give to them resources you will give to them that which they desire even now father those that are longing for you to touch them give them an encounter this morning father i pray
pray that your word will become alive within them this morning, Father. I pray that they will be living epistles, Almighty God, that they will walk and talk, oh God, your word, and that it will be manifested in their lives. Lord, I pray over them even now that with the faith that they have, Almighty God, they shall move mountains, Almighty God. No mountain shall stand before them. No rock shall stand before them. Lord, the valleys will be made low for your people. And so, God, you are our God this morning. You are our Lord this morning. And we know you're with us this morning. And so, Father, we thank you for great is your faithfulness this morning. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Morning, new morning, God. New mercies we see. So we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you for mercy today, God. We thank you for loving us, God. We thank you, oh God, for thinking about us. Oh God, as you remember Sarah, remember your people this morning. Whatever the desires are this morning, God, remember them this morning. Oh God, let them, Almighty God, testify of your goodness, of your mercy, of your grace, Almighty God. Let the testimonies flow that you'll be glorified, that you'll be glorified, Lord, that no man will take your glory. It all belongs to you, God. We thank you for you are righteous. We thank you that you are holy. We thank you that you're from everlasting to everlasting. We thank you that you're an on-time God. We thank you that you never fail. We thank you that you are the I am that I am this morning. We thank you, God, that we stand in your name, the only name through which men can be saved. And we thank you, God, for your righteousness. Oh, God, move over our lives this morning. Father, we desire change this morning. Our God, we desire more of you. Pour into us this morning fresh oil, Lord, and have your way. Father, we desire more of you, God more of you God more of you God Father we thank you for strength even now to go day by day we thank you God for many are the affliction of the righteous but we know God you are able to deliver and so God we thank you that you are an on time God Father you may not come when we want you to come but you are on time you are on time and so God we thank you for this season that we are in. We thank you for the season that we are in God. Operation growth. And Father, we thank you that we are learning your word. We thank you that we are applying it to our lives. We thank you that we are transforming for such a time as this. And Father, we thank you for you are God Almighty. Father, we thank you that you are God all by yourself. And so, Lord, never will a rock cry out in our place this day. Never Father, will a rock cry out in our place. Father, we praise you. We praise you. We honor you. We extol you. For you are great. You are Lord, we praise you. We worship you, Holy One of Israel. Zion's righteous ruler. We acknowledge you, hey God. We thank you. For there is none like unto you. Father, we thank you even now, even for the kingdom businesses, God. We thank you, Almighty God, that you, Almighty God, is working it out for each individual with their businesses. We thank you, God, that you are giving them strategies. We thank you, God, that you are giving them ideas. We thank you, God, that you're providing the customers. We thank you, God, that you will, God, get the glory. Father, we thank you that you are provided for your people. Father, even those, Almighty God, who have the ideas. Show them the one that will help them, God, to bring this business into being, God. We praise you and we thank you, God. We glorify your name. We know, God, it's not by our might, not by power, but by your spirit, almighty God. Do it by your spirit, almighty God. Do it by your spirit, almighty God.
Almighty God. Move, Ede Bashai. Move, Ede Bashatai. Father, we pray even now for the resources, Almighty God, that your people need. Father, let it come from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. Release it, a God, in their favor. Father, we thank you for there is no God like unto you, Jehovah. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you for preserving us. We thank you, God, for being the lifter of our heads this morning. We thank you, God, that without you we are nothing. And so we acknowledge our limitations this morning. Father, we acknowledge our limitations this morning. Father, we are nothing, but you are everything. How great you are. How powerful you are. How marvelous you are. Father, we love you this morning. And so we cry out, we love you this morning. Father, our hearts, uh, we lay them at the altar this morning. Ah, uh, circumcise the hearts this morning, Lord. Spiritually touch us this morning, God. Move in the depths of our heart this morning. Lord, and if there be anything within us that is not of you, remove it right now. Father, remove it, Edema. Remove it right now. Yes, Lord, have your way, God, we surrender. Ah, oh, God, not a part of us, but all of us. Our lives, Almighty God, we surrender to you this morning. We surrender to you this morning. So have your way. Lord, have your way. Have your way this morning in this place, in this sanctuary. Father, we desire hey your presence. Lord, come now. Tabernacle with us, God. Do a new thing this morning, Father. Set us on fire for you, Jesus, so the world can watch us burn for you this morning. Father, we are intentional about our worship today. Father, we want to see your glory. Ah, oh, God, we want to feel your presence. Lord, have your way in us this morning. Father, we commit our ways. We commit our lives. Lives, God, unto you, Lord. We commit all to you this morning. And so, Father, we pray even now for strength, oh God, strength for days to come, for months to come, for years to come. And so, Father, we send this prayer in our future that there'll be strength for your people. Father, that there'll be joy. Father, fill them with your joy. For the joy of the Lord is your strength this morning. And we thank you that there will be revived. God, that there will walk and not faint. And that they will run and never be weary. Father, we thank you even now for the preparation of gospel. On their feet, God, we thank you for the helmet of salvation upon their heads and the breastplate of righteousness. Father, we thank you that you have placed it upon your people right now. We thank you, God, that they have the mind to serve you. Father, we thank you, Almighty God, that they shall not be a fear, afraid, Almighty God, because fear is not their portion. We thank you, God, that their faith are lit like flint. Oh God, that they are bold. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that they will stand for you, God. Father, we thank you that they, Almighty God, will stand knowing the God in whom they serve. Almighty God, they will stand knowing that you are a good God, that you're a good Father. They will call you Abba, and you will hear Almighty God, for you love your children. So, Father, we thank you even now, and we bless your name even now. Father, we pray for the children of Jamaica even now. Lord, in the classrooms, Lord, we pray for them. Innocent blood is crying out this morning. So God, we pray for justice even now. Cover your children. Cover the next generation under your blood, Lord. Keep them, God. Let us be watchmen and watchwomen for our children, for the future of Jamaica. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will send Almighty God help. Oh, Oh God, we pray even now that the wicked that is being committed against our children, God, the perpetrators will be found, Almighty God. Lord, that they'll be judged according to your word. Father, we pray this morning that that generation will not be lost, Lord, for we cover them under your blood and we call them safe for your name. We cover that old generation under your blood, God, that they will come to know you, that they will come to serve you, that they will come, Almighty God, in in your presence. God, we pray even now for the fear of the Lord to be in this house. Lord, we pray by extension.
extension, Almighty God, that it will be in every house, Almighty God, that calls on the name of Jesus. We pray, Almighty God, that your fear will be in your house, that men and women will come to know and understand that you are a God, that you ought to be feared. Father, we thank you for great is your faithfulness this morning. We thank you, God, that you are our Lord and Savior. We thank you that you are God Almighty. We thank you that you are our Savior. Hallelujah. Father, had it not been for you this day, God, where would we be? But Father, we thank you that you thought of us this morning. We thank you, God, that we're in your house this morning. We thank you that we're here lifting up holy hands this morning. And so we bless you, God. We thank you, Almighty God. Father, even for our family members, God, that are unsaved. Father, we pray even now, Almighty God, that as we kneel before you, as we pray before you, God, you will save our household, Almighty God. You have commissioned us, Almighty God, to pray for the lost and the dying. So, God, we will take the mandate to pray for our household. We will begin at home this morning, God. God, we pray that you will give each and every individual, Lord, the knowledge, Almighty God, to witness to others, Lord God. Let them have a burning compassion for the lost and the dying. Father, we pray, Almighty God, that as their households are saved, Almighty God, that their community will be taken, oh God, for you, Lord. And so by extension, God, Jamaica will be taken by you, Almighty God. Jamaica will come to know the God of Israel, will come to know the God of all times, will come to know the one and true God. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We acknowledge your sovereignty. Father, for there is none like unto you. You are greater. You are mighty. You are powerful. And you are all-knowing. Father, have your way in this place. Have your way in this place this morning. Have your way in this place this morning, Lord. Have your way, God. Walk it ever shall die. Walk yet it ever day. Lord, touch this Father, we pray even now that you will continue, Almighty God. Oh, God, to uphold our hands, Almighty God. Ah, oh, God, as the saints had Adabasatai. You will continue, Almighty God, to show us, to prove to us, Almighty God, that you are not slack concerning your promises. Father, there are many persons here, Almighty God, that has things that they're altered that they've be, been be praying for, God. But I pray even now, God, that you will remember the request, Almighty God. You will remember the petition of your people almighty God that you will remember their sacrifices almighty God I bring it to their account this morning God let their tide let their offering speak for them this morning Lord let it come before you God as a sweet savor this morning let their sacrifices oh God come before you this morning oh God we thank you for great is your faithfulness. Lord, we reverence your presence even now. And we thank you. For we know that there is no God like unto you, Jehovah. We know that you are able this morning. Father, we thank you. Even for the mission of evangelism right now. The mandate that we have, Almighty God, to reach the lost and the dying. Lord, we pray that you turn the heart of your people to serve in this manner, God. To go with the programs of kingdom grace God to support that which you have given the shepherd almighty God we pray almighty God that there be days our God and hours our God and minutes that we will be interceding on behalf of these communities Lord they are lost without you they are dying almighty God equip us almighty God equip us almighty God to reach the lost and dying this day father we pray that it is our wish God we pray pray that your kingdom will come in these communities. We pray that poverty will be broken of these communities. We pray that destruction will break all these communities. We pray, God, that the men, women, and children will be saved in these communities. Father, we pray that you will be the only done in these communities. That your righteousness, almighty God, will stand as a beacon in these communities. We pray, Lord, that your angels will go back and forth in these communities. We pray, almighty God, that evangelists will come from these communities. That pastors will come from these communities. Oh, God, we pray 
that prayer warriors will come from these communities. Father, save them for your mercy's sake. Father, we thank you even now. And we bless your name for doing it. We declare a thing and we know it shall be so. For we believe, Almighty God, through your Son Jesus, according to St. John 14, 14, that whatever we ask through Jesus' name, it shall be granted unto us. And so, God, we thank you that you are great. We thank you that you are all powerful. We thank you, God, that you have seen it fit to tabernacle with us today. Father, we thank you for great is your faithfulness. We thank you, God, for remembering us this morning. Father, it's nothing good we have done, but we submit our ways to you this morning. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way in our lives. Father, take full control. Father, take full control. Be with us, Father, in our going out and our coming in. Father, help us even now, Lord, to read your word daily. For it's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Father, we thank you for great is your faithfulness this day. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We praise you, Hosanna, for you are worthy, Emmanuel. We lift you up and we extol you, for there is no God like unto you. You are from everlasting to everlasting. Father, we worship you. We worship you now. Take full control, Almighty God. Have your way. Have your way, Almighty God. Have your way this day. Father, we thank you. We thank you and we bless you. We extol you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yea, God. We thank you for shifting the atmosphere. We thank you, God, for shifting the atmosphere. Father, thank you. Thank you, God, for coming in our midst. Thank you, Almighty God. Father, as we praise you, Father, we thank you for the word that will come, Almighty God. We thank you for fresh manna. God, Lord, we put our hearts in the place to receive your word even now. Lord, let your word come into our hearts. Oh, God, let our hearts be fertile grounds. Father, and let us see the manifestation. Father, help us to bear fruit, Almighty God, in this season. Help us, Almighty God, to bear fruits and more fruit, Almighty God. We thank you and we bless you for you are great, Almighty God, and greatly to be praised. You are God Almighty. Oh, awesome is your name, Almighty God. Heaven and earth adore you, God. We worship you, hey. We worship you. We acknowledge you, hey, Labadeba, Shatakatai. Have your way, Savior. Have your way, Master. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. Have your way in this place, Lord. Have your way in this place, Lord. Have your way in this place, Lord. Father, let there be an open heaven today, God. Let there be an open heaven today, God. Bless your people in a mark way. Father, those who are waiting on promotion, let it come speedily in the name of Jesus. Those who need resources for their business, let it come speedily in the name of Jesus. Those who need help, Lord, send help, Lord. Father, I thank you for your able to do it, Jesus. I thank you, God. I bless your name. For you are marvelous. For you are supreme. You are holy. You are righteous. Father, you are our strength. Strength like no other today, God. Father, we thank you. For you are our all in all this morning. We have no other God but you. We have no other source but you. And so, Father, we look to you, the rock. Hey, we look to you, God. We look to you, God. We will make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All he lands, we'll serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not be ourselves. Oh, God, we come. Lord, restore us today, God. Restore us today, God. You are a good shepherd, Jesus. Restore us today, God. Father, 
restore that which the palm and conquer worm has eaten. Restore today, God. Father, restore today, God. Make a way, God, when there seem no way at all. You are the way maker, God, the miracle worker, the promise keeper. Yay, God. Do it for your people today, Jesus. Restore unto us, Jesus, the joy of thy salvation, Lord, and renew our right spirit within us this morning, Father. Father, Father, we thank you and we bless you. We praise you. Father, we worship you. We adore you. Father, we thank you. For there is no God like unto you, Jehovah. We worship you even now, Adonai. We thank you. For you are our battle axe, almighty God. We thank you that you are sovereign. Hey, God we thank you that you are able to keep us Lord we thank you God that great is your name and greatly to be praised Father we thank you almighty God for grace and for mercy we thank you Lord Father for those without the Holy Spirit this day I pray God that you'll move and touch them oh God touch their hearts oh God let there be a quickening within their spirits almighty God Touch them even now, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for having your way. For you are great. You are marvelous. Oh, excellent is your name in all the earth, God. We praise you. We praise you, Holy One. And we bless you, Lord. For you are God all by yourself. Father, we thank you that you have made the crooked way path straight for us even now. Lord, we thank you that you are God in our lives this morning. We thank you, God, that you will continue, Almighty God, to keep us from day to day, God. We thank you that you are able, Almighty God, to provide for us. And so God, we thank you for what you're about to do. We thank you for the future, God, for our futures are bright this morning. We thank you, Jehovah God, that there is no other sustainer but you, Lord. We thank you, Almighty God, that you have covered us under your blood. We thank you, God, that we are the blood wash. We thank you, Almighty God, that you will keep us and protect us. Father, Father, we thank you that as you go with us, Almighty God, men will recognize, Almighty God, that we serve the living God. Father, let our lives so shine before men that they may glorify you, O oh God, that they will come to know you, O oh God. Father, we thank you for there is no God like unto you and we bless your name hallelujah we praise you and we lift you up mighty one for thine is your kingdom the power and the glory ah forever and ever lord forever and ever forever and ever hallelujah we praise you hallelujah jesus we praise you we worship you and all god's people Say amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, God, for your outpouring of your spirit. We thank you, God, for your intercession, God, that has gone forth. Oh, we thank you, God, for doing a new thing in our midst today. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that we have come to rejoice in your presence. Oh, God, we thank you that we have come to lay our burdens before you this morning. Oh, Lord, we bless your holy name. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, God. We exalt you this morning. We thank you, God, for our fresh move. We thank you for our fresh touch this morning. We thank you, God, that you are the ancient of days. We thank you, God, that you are the bomb in Gilead. We thank you, God, that you are our righteousness this morning. Oh, God, we exalt your majesty. We enthrone you, Prince of Peace. We enthrone you, Lord of Lords. We enthrone 
alone, you're conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh God, we come to give you glory. We come to give you honor. We shout unto you this morning with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we walk by faith this morning and not by sight. In the name of Jesus, we have come to take territory for your God. We have come to lengthen our stake and expand our boundaries in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bam in Gilead, rock of ages. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ruler of the universe, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah, we come to honor you. We come to magnify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God. Open up the floodgates of heaven and pour out upon us, God. Hallelujah, open up the floodgates and pour out upon us, God. Open up the floodgates and pour out upon us, God. We lend our state and we expand our boundary. We take territories for you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Help us to put on the old armor this morning to stand against the walls of the devil in the name of Jesus because he has come to kill, steal, and destroy while you have come to give life and life more abundant in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we grab a hold of life this morning in the name of Jesus. We take hold on eternal life this morning in the name of Jesus. We take hold on eternal life this morning. We take hold on eternal life this morning. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, lift up your heads. Oh he gates, lift up your heads. Oh go take hold every everlasting doors. We break them down this morning in the name of Jesus. Mr. King of glory, we welcome you this morning. King of glory, Lord God Almighty, the Lord who is mighty in every battle this morning. The Lord who has never lost a battle. The Lord who has never lost a battle. He's our God of peace this morning. He's our storm stiller this morning. He's the God who set the captives free this morning. He's the God who takes the burden from off our shoulder this morning. Hallelujah! 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 God of our battalion this morning. Oh God, we exalt you. Oh God, we exalt you. Mighty warrior, mighty warrior, man of war, man of war. Oh God, Moses God, Jacob God this morning, Daniel God, the God who surely will deliver this morning. Oh, the God who stand, oh God, and make it intercession for us. So God, we come boldly before you. We come, God. We come, God. We come empty, God. We come empty, God. Fill us by your spirit. Fill us by your spirit. We are empty and need a fulfilling, God. Oh, every oppression, every depression. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, be lifted this morning. In the name of Jesus. Everything that come against your knowledge. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We break it down and we destroy this morning. In the name of Jesus. We drive out sin this morning. We drive out untimely debt. Oh, we break the bonds of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we speak life over our children at school this morning in the name of Jesus. We shut back your Prince of Peace. Oh, God, we worship you. We shut back your conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, ancient of days, man of war. Oh, God, we enthrone you this morning. Oh, God, we come as warriors Warriors before you this morning, not warriors, but warriors for you this morning, God. We stand in the gap for our people this morning. We stand in the gap for our leaders this morning. We stand, we stand in the gap this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare your Lord over principalities and powers this morning. We declare your Lord, oh God, over this nation. We declare your Lord over your people this morning because you, God, your word is yea and amen, and it is final. We declare judgment and justice upon the heathen this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Let's bless the name of our Lord. Let's bless the name of our Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. There is a sweet spirit in this place. And surely it is the presence of our Lord. Can somebody just wave your hands and give the Lord a wave offering? Yes, just give him a wave offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for tabernacling with us today, Lord. seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give honor to the Spirit of the Lord that is here today. Let us put our hands together. Welcome the Spirit of God. He is in this place. We thank God for tabernacling with us. This is his house. He dwells here. And we just bless him. Every time we get the chance to acknowledge him, we acknowledge him. We thank God for being here. We honor him. We bless him. Giving honor to First Lady Lewis. Let's put our hands together. Honor the woman of God. Reverend Georgia Lewis, God bless you. We take the time to bless and greet the workers, the leaders of Kingdom Grace. Please put your hands together for leaders and workers of Kingdom Grace. And of course, wonderful 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 members for coming visitors we want to welcome you hallelujah hallelujah let's also thank the lord for those persons who are online the online viewers or youtube family or facebook family social media come on let's give them a loud hand clap they support us they're always viewing they're always always there and so we thank the lord we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for what he is doing. Hallelujah. There, there is just a wonderful, the presence of the Lord is here. I, I am just so moved by God every time he shows up. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord because we are in a season of operation growth. Hallelujah. And we're looking at the subject of decluttering. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for decluttering. Somebody say decluttering. Yes, we're getting rid of everything, everything that does not belong. We're getting rid of everything that does not contribute to our growth and our development. We're ridding ourselves of everything, the trash, the things that we know that are not good for us, the things that are setting us, my God, setting us back. Instead of progressing, these things that will come in our lives to cause us to, pro to, to regress instead of progress in God and grow. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here that is growing for the last month and a half we've been looking? If you've been growing, just lift your hands. Awesome, 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 awesome. Wait, God bless you. God bless you, Minister Williams. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. God bless you. Let's thank the Lord for Minister Williams. Bless you. Bless you, man of God. Bless you. Coming in fast and service. Grab your notebooks. Grab your Bibles. We just want to... Hallelujah. We really just want to 
share with you. We're not going to, we're going we're to try and be very quick today. We just want to look, recap where we were. We looked at decluttering. We started with the first thing. We started with possessions. Mm -hmm. Everybody remember possessions? Yes, we started with possessions and then we moved to the second thing. What's the second thing? That's right. Very good. Very good. The third thing, personalities. Very good. Very good. And then we looked Sunday. The fourth thing, people. Very good. You're growing. You have your notes. I love that. I love that. I love that. And today, we're going to just quickly recap on people, and then we're going to close with the last P. Remember, we're looking at five Ps, the things that we need to declutter, possessions, practices, personalities, people, and the fifth and final, we're going to dive into it. But looking at decluttering people, this is something that we have to, beloved, we, we, we spoke on Sunday as it relates to a reminder for some and information that is new to others that if you have destiny helpers, you're going to have destiny blockers. Did you know that? If you have destiny helpers, if there are persons that are designated by God to help you fulfill your purpose, yes, and go forward in destiny, then you're going to have persons that are designated by the devil himself to come to block you. My God. And I want to remind us, I want to remind us, I want to remind us. Remember, we spoke about we have detonators, people who are detonators. They come and they are given a date of detonation in your life. My God. Where the devil will plant them in your life. They are planted and months and years down the road, they are there like, beloved, if you ever watch maybe those programs that tell you about spies in your life. Yes, yeah, spies in the government, spies in nations. They will sit there. They'll be like a sleeper cell. They call them a sleeper cell. They'll sit in a nation, but they have a job to do and they will not do it until a designated time. Yes, and just as how God cuts out a designated time for you and I to prosper and go forward. The devil, he designates people that are sent by him to work, my God, and to detonate and derail you from purpose. And they'll be sleeping in your life. They'll be in your life for many years. Yes, until a particular day, until that time comes and the devil will just ignite them and they will, des they will detonate. And when they detonate in your life, beloved, it wreaks mayhem and chaos. Yes, they are, de they are destiny blockers. Somebody say destiny blockers. Yes, and in order to grow, this is very important, beloved. I want you to listen to me and take the notes. In order to grow, you are going to have to ensure that you flush out and declutter those persons. You're going to have to be discerning. Allow the Spirit of God to show you and discern these people in your life that are really not for you. They are there to stunt and relegate your growth. My God Almighty. Mm. Yes, yes. Destiny blockers. And when they detonate, beloved, they detonate with drama. My God. They detonate with drama. Some of these people, they come to your life and all they come to your life with is drama. Did you know that? Yes. You will be there. You'll be serving God. You'll be on a path to growth and development. And beloved, in the middle of growth and development, there comes drama in your life. My God Almighty. Somebody say drama is not of God. Not of God. No, not of God. I'm telling you, beloved. It's not. It's not. There are some persons that they come in your life and when they detonate, it opens up drama in your life. Uh, drama and trauma. My God. Yes, and guess what? When, the, when, it, when it happens, you know, it's not something that you can recover or bounce back from. It hits your life so hard that it takes you, it takes some people years before they recover. 
and years lost out of their purpose, it sets you back. My God Almighty. There are some persons that after they go through the drama and after they go through the trauma, it leaves them so broken and hurt that they'll be sitting in church and they're just a shell of themselves. Why? Because the devil plants the person in your life to detonate. And when they detonate trauma, it shatters the mind of the believer. There are some persons that they have to go through counseling. I mean, the, the counseling is perpetual. Because when the enemy is done with them, it's so hard for them to recover. Traumatic. You know that man of God? Minister, you know that? There are some people, have you ever, you minister some persons and you wonder how long it's going to take for them to heal and you have to just be patient with them and hold their hand and go through. And the, and the counseling might not just be for days. There are some persons who will go through counseling for days and weeks, but there are others because of the trauma. They are going through counseling for years. Some people can't stop. It's a life, it's like a lifetime of counseling. Why? Because of, not because of maybe a whole lot of people. A church don't hurt them. No, just one person in their life that the devil plant. One relationship that they go in. They're in a relationship with a man. And that man start out, everything start out so nice and rosy. And after a while, things just go bad and that relationship blows up and because of the trauma and the drama it leaves that woman now in a broken state shell of herself are those men a shell of themselves there are men that believe me they they get derailed from purpose because while they were a youngster they are now 40 they are now 50 but at the age of 10 they were abused by an uncle they were abused by a grandfather. Some of them were abused by a father. And it causes so much trauma now in that man's life. That guess what? After 30 years, they are still broken. Disconnected from purpose. No matter how you come and you lay hands on them. Mm. No matter how you rub olive oil on them broken and it takes time for them to recover some of these men and some of these women they have to go through periods of counseling to repair it's not just a one time lay hands and impartation and you're healed be thou delivered and you get up and say go oh yes i'm good and i'm okay no these are persons that have to go through systematic and methodical counseling that is why counseling is very very important in the body of christ that is why every time we have counselors, we pray for them and we elevate them and we ensure that we use them because there are men and women that, guess what? It is not a lay hand that is going to move you from trauma to purpose. It is going to be a, an anointed counselor to sit with you and to help to handhold you. There are persons that their deliverance will be today, but there's, uh, there are other persons that their deliverance is progressive. Why? Because of drama and trauma. Mm. I strip that drama and trauma. Yes. And so the devil, he'll place people there in their lives. And you'll be with them. And for years, family members, beloved. That is why, you know, you have to guard yourself. Guard yourself. It don't matter if they are relatives. It don't matter if they are friends from school. Years you know them. That doesn't say anything. You have to guard yourself. You might live beside them, Sister Brown, for years. And you think that, wow, is a wonderful neighbor. But guess what? They are sent by the enemy to derail you. And they have a detonation date. Yes. Wait long enough and you will see that detonation take place but it's for the child of God to know and see it from afar so you are guarded my God almighty very important beloved and then you have you have detonators but you also have depressors mm. 
your persons that are, they are placed in your life. These are people that you will be full of joy today. And you encounter them, you're full of joy. And after the encounter you have with them, you leave sapped of all of that joy. I, I wonder if you realize that this is something that is practical and very real that's happening to a lot of persons here. Yes. You come to fasting service and you, you, you leave feeling so refreshed. And the minute you leave, you're heading home, giving God praise, and you're rejoicing. I thank you, God, for the breakthrough. And your phone ring, and you just see the name. You don't have to talk to them. <laughs> you don't laugh. That means it's true. <laughs> you, let me tell you, you don't even have to answer the phone. But the minute you see the name, there is just a cloud of heaviness that comes over you. Depressors. And I'm telling you, they are depressors and they cause stressors. It triggers stressors in your life. There are some, did you know, beloved, that's why a lot of persons are sick, you know. Because of stress, the stress is coming from somewhere and it's coming from a lot of persons that the enemy put in your life as depressors. Immediately, once you encounter them, no matter how you feel energetic, it's like they suck the energy right out of your body. They suck your spirit dry. My God. Use the mic, woman of God. Let's sit, let's, and if anybody have any questions, we want to be very interactive with this. Because we're going to learn and we're going to grow in our beloved. We have to learn and we have to grow. Because you, you must, the reason why God is giving us this information is so that we can quickly identify these people. So when they come, you say, oh yeah man, I, I know you. That spirit that is trying to work through you is a depressor. You are a destiny blocker. And I am going to just put up my guard. I am guarded. Go ahead, woman of God. And they know the right time just to call you. You'll be doing so well, praising God, so happy. And they just call you, just like that, out of the blue. You will not hear from them for a very long time. But make it be that you are in a mode of thanksgiving and praise. That's the time you get that call. Or that's the time somebody just show up to just say something to you, to just let you lose all the joy, just like that. These persons, they are sent by the devil. Seeds of the devil. Seeds of the, and, and you say something because you realize every time you're in a moment of thanksgiving, every time God is getting the glory, the devil doesn't want God to get the glory, you know. So he will, wait. once he sees God is getting the glory, he's going to trigger a depressor. To come so that stress can be relieved. It is hard for a woman or a man that is so stressed to really give God praise. You know, you know that? Yes. When the heart is heavy, you don't find a lot of rejoicing. My God Almighty. Yes. Destiny blockers. They happen to you every week and you don't even realize. Yes. Every week. And beloved, you have to be prepared for it. You have to make sure that your mind, your spirit is prepared for them. So when they come into encounter, because you see, anytime two persons meet, there has to be an exchange. It's either you leave being depressed or they are going to leave overjoyed. It's either you leave feeling like you are broken or they leave. Like, listen, a man, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Once you have two persons connecting, don't bother feel like say, boy, it is just natural. There is an exchange. In, beloved, it doesn't matter if it's a relative, it doesn't matter if it's a friend, it doesn't matter if it's, a, it's just somebody from your community. When you have an encounter, when two persons come together, what's up, the, the spirit that is more dominant. That's the spirit that is going to prevail. Are you going to allow the depressor to depress and stress you? Or are you going to allow yourself to be so guarded and ready so that when the devil launches that attack and you see that depression coming your way, you're going to say, listen, man, listen, listen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And you shut it down. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, that is why you have to be, beloved, this is very important. 
make sure that you vet the people who you acquaint yourself with. And even more importantly, make sure that you vet the people that you are in covenant with. What, what the devil will do is, you know, when, when it comes to depressors, the devil ensures that he tries to infiltrate somebody who is covenanted with you. Because people who are covenanted with you, they have more direct access to you. It's hard to shut them out. It's hard for me to shut out Lady Lewis. I cannot not take her call. Because at the end of the day, I see her at home. Because we're married, we're in a covenant. It's hard for me to not take Sister Butler's call. Because guess what? She's a leader here. She's in covenant. So when you can evade somebody else that is not so close to you, it's hard for you to evade those that are in covenant with you. So what the enemy will do is he targets first the people who are closest to you, those that are covenant with you, because you can't dodge them. You can't dodge them. You can't. Somebody here, man of God. It's so hard. You can't dodge them. My God Almighty. Go ahead, woman of God. Is the mic on? Let's see if it's on. Hold it down long enough so that, yes. It's on. Go ahead now. Good afternoon, everyone. We also know that a soft answer turned away wrath. Mm -hmm. So there are even persons at work. You, see, you can see it in them that come into you because they want you to rail and trail and carry on. And just by you saying, a simple thing. They were ready to take you on and think you were going to take them on, you know. But you just said one simple thing and it quashed right there. So, yes. Right there. Then and there. Because you recognize this. So, we just ask the Lord to just let us, you know, realize. Just realize when the devil is right there to rob your joy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just, I just pass it and I just say, thank you, Jesus. So, really right in your face, in, in your face, you know, you say, why this first book is but in your mind, you say, you just pass it. And you just say, Lord, I give you thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Instead of, instead of getting upset instead of and it, lose your joy. Instead of getting angry. Instead yes. of getting angry. Yes. We shut it down. Shut it down immediately. Because, because you, you said something that's important, beloved. There are persons that will try to trigger you with anger. With frustration. Yes. But what you have to do is you have to make sure that you are so guarded and Guard you are prepared. It. Just as how you tell it, what? Soft words, turn it. But grievous words, stir yes. up. Yes. yes. So we have to, we have to shut them down. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yes. Yes. Depressors, beloved. Depressors. Mm. My God Almighty, they sap you of joy. They sap you of happiness. They sap you of everything that is positive. Mm. We have to shut it down. Then you have distractors. Yes. So you have detonators. You have depressors. Then you have distractors. Distractors are not persons that will just rush in and bombard you. No. But the enemy works through them very subtly. Mm. Very, very subtle. They are subtly pulling you away. From the things of God. They are subtly stunting your growth. Yes. Relationships that they get worse over time. But it happens in very small increments. Because the devil knows that if you identify it early, you're going to snuff it out. But what he does is he realizes that you'll be there with that individual and very subtly, very slowly, months after months after months, sometimes even years after years, you meet that person and you're friends with them. And I'm telling you, this is one of the most dangerous because it's hard to identify. There are some of you that you have been derailed by your purpose. And guess what? It's persons that are in your life that are de they derailed you and you, don't, you can't even identify them. Because they have been with you so long where you think it is something else. But if you seriously step back and start to evaluate, look at the things that are coming out of them. Not just, beloved, I'm telling you, not just the words that they are saying, but the very actions. 
Because remember, when you're growing, it's not in word, but it's, actually, it's, it's behavior. That's the first sign of growth, behavioral change. And if you want to talk about something that is dying, the first thing you do is you watch it. After a while, the action, you'll start to see it shrivel. You'll start to see it. You're, you're going to see it, beloved. If you identify, take the time and look at the actions. Yes. There are some people in our life, they are subtly pulling you. I gave you, the, I gave you the, the illustration on Sunday. Standing in the light. And they are just beckoning to you. Beckoning. And you're in the corner of the room that is lit. But everything else in the room is darkness. And you slowly find yourself inching, inching. Because guess what? It piques your interest. You're saying, who is calling? Who is calling? And before long, you find yourself away from the light and in the middle of darkness. You think that there are some people that fall in sin. You think it just happened just one day so? Beloved, think about your own life. I can tell you about my own life. The anytime you find yourself in sin, years ago I find myself in a situation and I said, but wait, oh, I reach here, so I realize that it never just happened one day overnight, but you realize now that it has a track record because you can see how slowly you inch yourself, inch by inch, day by day, and you allow that to continue and you find yourself in the middle of darkness. Mm -hmm. Distractors. Distracting you from your purpose. Distracting you from growth. You come to church today and you learn a word. Very powerful. But by the time you leave and you go back home. Because remember, Sunday is just 20% of, 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 of church. There are persons around you from Monday to Saturday. They are a distraction. So everything that you have learned on Sunday, they influence and distract you. Pull you away from it. This is very important. That is why you have to vet. I say it, I can't say it enough. Vet the people around you. They're going to look at you as a child of God and say, boy, you're, just, you, 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 you're not good enough for me. Am I not good enough for you? They're going to say that. But you need to tell them without reservation. Tell them without reservation. Listen, no, you're not good for me. You cannot be afraid to tell people, you are not good for me, sorry. You cannot grow around them. Distractors that subtly pull you away from growth. Instead of your growing, you know what you're doing? You're regressing. Mm. And then let's look at the last P, five, pursuits. My God. And this one is very, very, very important. What are the things that you are pursuing? What are the things that you are chasing after? Ensure that you look at your life. Look at your life. Look at how your week goes. Look at how your month goes. And you're going to look at it and so slowly but surely you're going to realize that the pursuits, the things that you're really pursuing after, they're really, some of them are not the things of God. Let's think about it. Really not the things of God. And can I tell you something too? Sometimes we pursue the things of God more than we pursue the God. In the God. You pursue, there are, Beloved, let me tell you, I, I, I can tell you, the man of God can tell you, he's a minister too, he can tell you. It's very, it's a thin line. Even as men of God, we have to make sure that we pursue God more than ministry. <laughs> I wonder if you understand what I'm saying to you. Yes, you have something to say? Woman, go ahead. I can testify to that because, you know, before coming to this ministry, I, I was so active in my previous ministry, and I, it became an idol. So I was doing everything, was excited, and when it came time where I was taken back, I felt broken, I felt lost, I felt like I was no longer who, you know, I was called to be. And God had to remind me that it's him that gives me purpose. And I found purpose in what I was doing, mm. and not who I was serving. So you found, you, you, you were pursuing everything that came with ministry. But you weren't pursuing God as how you're supposed to pursue. Yes. 
lost sight of you lost sight of you can be clouded with the things of God you know and you miss God in the middle of it you know yes because remember beloved we tell you that not everything good is right it, you know that it's good to preach but you can be consumed. I can be so consumed with preaching that it's no longer right. It moved me out of right standing with God. Because I am consumed with the pulpit. I hug it up. I said, this pulpit and I have a good thing going on. So much so that I forget God. You have men and women all over this world. They pursue the pulpit. But they're not pursuing God. Man of God, yeah. yes. yes. Yes, sir. You know, as you were just saying that, um, I discovered that some years ago. And when I come in the knowledge of that, there's a prayer that I pray that I never stop praying. I say, Lord, help me to remember that, you know, it's not what I do make me who I am, but it's what you have done for me. You know, because sometimes we get caught up in the things that we do for God and we find our identity in the things that we do and not, and not our identity in what God has done for us. And so I always pray, say, say, Lord God, my identity is not what I do for you, but it's what you have done for me. That's where my identity lies. So if I should get up tomorrow morning, I cannot preach. I am still a man of God. Amen. If so I say that again. So, if, so as, a, as a preacher, if you get up tomorrow and you look, say you can't, you can't preach, or you still maintain a relationship with God, you're still, God is still pleased with you because why? My identity is not what I do, but it's what, I, what, what he has done for me. Still, it's always, always, always about God. Always about, always God. about him. Somebody say, it's always about God. Where, what are your pursuits? What are, your, what are you pursuing? I found myself in a situation once where I was pursuing things. And I wasn't pursuing God. Yes. I remember one time I preached a message years ago at the church that I used to. And when, and, and when I was done, my God, people were coming to me and they were saying, wonderful word, Minister Lewis, wonderful, and clapping and clapping. And I felt so good in myself and I felt, yes, powerful man of God. And I remember when I, when I went back home, feel nice and everybody oh my god man text message coming in wonderful word and everything in a man of god i felt so nice and that night i went to pray and i just could not sense the spirit of god and the voice of the lord came and said you allowed men to clap you out of my presence because i started to i, I, I was pursuing applause <laughs> When the Lord gave me that word, I shame like a dog. And I bawl like a baby. And I said, never again will I allow men to clap me and congratulate me out of the presence. Because your pursuits, beloved, must always be what? God. Psalm 27 verse 4. The psalmist, he says, one thing have I desire of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Beloved, the reason why we come to church we all have ministries. We all have different things that we have to do. Man of God, you play well. You play excellently well. But remember that in playing, it is all about I am pursuing and chasing after God. Engineers or ushers, workers, leaders, everything that we do, do not allow ministry to cloud you from the gold. The purpose 
of us coming is always to pursue God. And so let me tell you this. I, I, I'm very, 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 very particular about this. If I realize that your pursuits are anything but God, you have to take a step back. And you might have to declutter something that is good, but it's not right for you. So what that means? That's why sometimes if somebody is in ministry, you might have to declutter the ministry, as in put down the ministry and say, all right, I was a preacher, you know, but let me put down the preaching right over here, so now, and find back God. Let me put on the keyboard over here so that please, for a minute now, and see if I can find back God. Let me put down the ushering duty. Let me put down all of the department head. Let me put it down and then find God. My pursuits must always be God. Because it will be good. Ministry is very good. But anything that is good and does not leave you in right standing, Beloved, you have to take a, a deep look at it. Deep look at it. Go ahead. Afternoon. Bless you. Um, as priests, our main goal and objective is to draw nigh to God. That's the first and foremost thing. So if we can always remember. Yeah, you have different types of priests. Mm -hmm. But we are all priests. So yes. As priests. Our main responsibility is to draw nigh to God. So we always have to remember that is always first and foremost. Yes. That's our role. And then everything will be everything fine from else there. Everything will fall in place. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The scripture says, you know, draw nigh to God. And then he will draw nigh to you. Remember, the onus is always on us first. You have to seek, pursue God. You can replace draw you know, with pursuit. Pursue after God and then he then know. Yes, but the onus is on you and I to do that first. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Somebody say all your heart. Yes. Your pursuit after God must be with all your heart. My God Almighty. Mm. Beloved, anything, I want you to evaluate. You see this series of growth? This particular topic here now that we're looking at decluttering, it's very, very important. Because decluttering is not just for the unsaved. It is primarily for the saved, the child of God. What are the things that I need to get rid of? There are some things that I am pursuing in my life right now. Your job can be something that you're pursuing. You live, beloved, you live for your job. There are persons that you will, oh my God, you give everything to the job. But when it comes to the things of God, we are significantly lacking. Business. When it comes to business, we give ourselves to solely to our business. But when it comes to the things of God, we're not pursuing it. Go ahead, woman of God. Um, afternoon, everyone. Um, yes, I can attest to it. it it's happening right now for me because I remember all of last year to take time from studies and everything. And it was just, I was pursuing the finances to do it. And the minute I, I started just praying about it and just talking to God, and I remember the last time I prayed, I said, I'm just going to leave it in your hand. And believe me, within a week, everything just fell into place. I've spent a year chasing what could have just happened in one week because I just surrendered. I just surrendered it. And it's just happening and falling. The growth that I find personally for myself is, spiritually drawing near to him and the decluttering just letting go of things emotionally mm. even physically yes. even removing things from your house possessions that we spoke about yeah. yes yes and and it's it's just changing everything so it's like this theme is just really just aligned with what's happening with me now in my life mm -hmm. and believe you me what you're saying is like you're talking 
directly to me. <laughs> Trust me, I'm sitting here, I'm just listening and nodding. Yes. I can relate to everything you're saying. And even with the business, mm -hmm. I need to be here more to find time for church, for praise, for worship. Wow. And that is what came into my spirit as he was, you know, just opening the doors for me, just opening it in mm. every way. So, yeah. Somebody it's clap your thing. hands for that. Yeah. So I just said, not everything that is right is good. <laughs> not everything good is right. Yes, yes, oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, beloved, that somebody just say thank you, Jesus, for that. Hallelujah. Yeah, so Sister Erica, you're seeing growth. Just as we're seeing, we're, I'm, I, sometimes I get some messages and it moves my heart because I realize that people are taking the word of God very, very, they're, it's being practical. They are using it and they are applying it. And you know what? We are seeing results by it. We're seeing transformation. Somebody say transformation. And importantly, we're seeing growth and development. Beloved, let me tell you this. If you're not growing, you have to shuffle things around in your life. Never be complacent. If you're not growing, never be complacent. Look at, sit down and say, no man, something off a shift. Something needs to be moved. Something needs to change because I have to grow. Yes. That's how, I, that's how I treat That's how I treat it. You know. As pastor, when I look at myself, if I realize a week passed, two weeks passed, a month passed, and I don't sense any growth in, happening in me, I say, no, something has to happen. No. Emergency. Right now. Go ahead, man of yes. God. And uh, as, as, I was, as, I was really, as I talk about decluttering, I was just thinking about Christ. You know, I'm talking about that you can really throw new wine into old wine skin. Mm -hmm. And I'm, rem I'm reminded of um, Nicodemus. He came to him by night. And he was saying that, Master, nobody could do this unless God is with him. But Christ was really pushing him away with all of that and said, you have to be born again. Yes. You know, all the knowledge that you have as a Pharisee, you have to really put all of that aside before you can really come into this new thing mm -hmm. that you're asking me about. So I can't even really talk to you about what you're asking about. Until you come to the place of, and so really decluttering, you really being born again, releasing what you know before, and coming to something new in God. So that's why it's not really about young converts. So even we have to keep on we moving from glory to glory, from stage to stage with yes, God, yes. in forgetting the past and pressing towards where God wants us to come into. And so we have to really literally release declutter what we know, what we used to really hold to. So we can um, move and hold to what God wants to do in our lives now. Especially us. Especially as us as Christians. Because, and and, and man, men of God, Christians, is not just for new converts. Because I, I tell you, remember, beloved, a harvest is something successful. And after you reap a harvest, even though, the, I tell you, talk to any farmer, they'll tell you, you have a harvest and you reap. But guess what? Before you plant new seeds you still have to plow up and still do some decluttering. If you speak to a farmer, if you just continue planting and you reap and then you go back and throw seeds and you keep doing that cycle, seeds are not going to be planted because the very same success that you have is going to block some of the seeds. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But as a child, whenever time we reap peas, we normally call the whole community and we just shell peas whole night so they can really carry it out to the market to sell. But I remember um, one um, harvesting, while we were shelling peas, I hear um, Uncle Sam. Yes. And he was like, he was scratching his head and he was just talking about the peas and things like that. And because we're, we say we have no peas, but he was um, really um, thinking about the, the future. Mm -hmm. Because he was looking at the no as you're talking about, and he realized that some of them have worm. Mm -hmm. So he must have said, start to say, boy, I'm going to really go into the, um, in the, uh, with the, the, the field and the really field. Um, put some poison, kill out your own poison, and plant again. So even that, we have to really, we even in harvest, you have to really take a, pers a perspective of what is happening now so you can have a better harvest next time. Yes. We were just here shelling people, but he was really looking at the harvest and also we have a problem with this harvest, even though we really have been. But there's still a problem, and we have to really deal with it before we can go into it. So even last week, you we were talking about Sunday. Mm -hmm. I was really remembering about that. And as you talk about it again, I say, you really, while you're having a harvest now, still look because there's still something we can do better 
for the next time there around. There is still something. So in the midst of success, in the midst of growth, and you're seeing growth, you still have to make sure that you declutter. You still have to make sure that you evaluate. Because you might have seen success, but you still cannot just throw new seeds on the land like that. You have to plow up back. And you have to declutter. Make sure that those seeds will find good ground. Because I tell you what, did you know one of the things that will clutter and not allow the new seeds to fall is pride? Because, because we have had so much success, you begin to become complacent and even a bit of pride will come in. And so the new seeds cannot take root. Because what? There is a whole lot of pride that is there. My God Almighty. I wonder if somebody is getting that. We have somebody here before, man of God. Go ahead, woman of God. Bless you, everybody. I usually don't share these things, but um, God has been dealing with me. And I have to open up more because this might help somebody. During Bible study, when he introduced the declutter, um, we have to declutter with a fine teeth comb in our life. We'll miss a lot of things if we just, you know, vaguely just glance over. And while I was there listening, I remember this gold, this gold set. You know, it's nice and it's bossy and it's fancy. And it was given to me to a married man that there was a strong soul tie and the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Jenny, you're not that girl anymore. And I've been here, changed, renewed, Holy Ghost sanctified. Yes, man. <laughs> and it is still in, in um, that little drawer I have with my nice stuff. Mm -hmm. They're a little prize. But it's not a prize. And I just took it up. And I threw it in the garbage in the kitchen because I'm going to, you know, take out the trash that night. And I just want to encourage those of us here, or those listening online. Yes. You have to go through with a fine teeth comb. My because God. these things that, the, 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 the freedom and that, 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 that burden just drop. It's like something just... Hey! Even, hey! even though... I am not in contact with that person anymore. I don't speak to them anymore. But you something know, was once, there. I just, I don't know. It never occurred to me before. Mm. I hardly, we, I, said, I don't wear this thing. I hardly wear it. You know, I, but get that fine teeth comb. Sit down in a quiet space. And just begin to un unravel. Like you peel your nice East Indian mango. And you peel back this layer by layer. And you look at every single detail. Because we are all missing something. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Listen, that's powerful. We talk about the possessions. The accursed thing. The accursed thing. Very powerful. Very powerful. Beloved, what I'm glad. I'm glad that these things are coming out. Because it tells me that you're learning. It tells me that you're growing. And something that you said so powerful, Sister Janelle, is decluttering with a fine teeth comb. Because you know what? We'll go through quickly sometimes and we forget that these things are there. We'll go through so quickly sometimes and we're talking about even pursuits. And we'll realize now that, guess what now? There's this thing that you're pursuing and you miss it. You're pursuing it. You've raised it. As an idol in your life, you've raised it even over pursuing the things of God. And you quickly buy it, you know, you just make it go over your head, you just leave it. And say, sure, no, man, that's a... But then when you really sit down and evaluate, you realize that you have risen this thing in your life as an idol. My God, go ahead, go ahead, man of God. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, what I'm, trying, I'm saying, asking, Pastor, I'm a new convert. Yes. And to declutter the past, what you used to um, hold from long time, when you're a child of God now, you still cannot hold certain previous things, certain long time things coming in the newness. Because you have a declutter. Yes, yes. Everything, even if it's 
as for well yourself, probably brand new, but you have to remind that you have a, you're a changed person. Mm -hmm. And you, for me, I can't say God's God, and then I'm still reacting a certain way. You have to declutter, you have to change everything, you have to put yourself at a new thing. What you used to do before, mm -hmm. you, you, I'm not going to say that you're going to totally change right away, mm -hmm. but you have to gradually change certain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things that you used to do. Mm -hmm. So with me, I try to do that because I'm not going to say nobody say, yes, I'm underneath the blood now. I'm not going to change Are you right perfect? away. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, as I said, as you said, Pastor, you're teaching with how to grow. Mm -hmm. Growth is one of the things that we have to look in. We can't say, boy, we have a child of God. And at the same thing, time, you're going to do certain things of the old. Mm -hmm. You have to try to cleanse yourself. Try to, try, even as the um, lady said, certain things, while people are going to try to get you upset, you have to just try to leave it alone, try to walk away. And you know, and you know, that's a good point. That's a very good point that you make. Because as a new convert, remember the scripture says, listen, if any man be in Christ, he is what? New creature. All things. Behold, all things are good. But remember, when you get saved and you come into Christ, it is the word of God now that we're going to feed you on. Because you are like a child that you are yearning after the sincere milk of the word. It is the word of God that's going to help you to grow, mature, and change. And it's important for new converts and also those persons who are saved and we're in church for many years. No matter who we are, from the youngest to the most experienced, we have to feed on the word consistently. Somebody say consistently. And we have to be disciplined. Beloved, reading the Bible, I'm telling you, sometimes... The devil, I'm telling you, it, the reason why you find it hard to read the word is because your flesh is against it. Remember now, the word of God says that the flesh is always fighting against the spirit in enmity. So your flesh, the human being, yes, Sister Richards, the human form that you're in, don't want you to read the word. It don't want you to have nothing to do with the spirit of God. So your mind is going to fight, the, everything about you is going to fight against you reading the word and praying. That's why it's easy to be on social media. It's easy to watch a movie behind another movie, behind another movie for hours. But once you take up the Bible, you can't read it for 10 minutes. You have to force yourself. That's why new converts, you have to know this. Your body, your mind, the flesh that you have, don't want you to spend any time in the Word. So you have to force yourself. And how do you force yourself? It be, you, habit. You have to do it. You have to do it until it becomes a habit in your life. Until you make it a culture. I read the Bible until it's a culture. You think I just come here and I can pray now because I just wake up one day and pray. No, I have to force myself into it. Push and break yourself into it. Yes. Very, very important, beloved. This is, I'm telling you, um, we, are, we, are, we are learning so much. The time is running and <laughs> I don't want to, to keep us here too long. But, beloved, when we talk about, <laughs> you don't want to leave. <laughs> we have to leave. But when you talk about decluttering, this is something that we have to, and, and the reason why I take my time and teach this and to ensure that we get it, is because if these practical things are not done, your behavior is not going to change. And once your behavior is not changing, no matter how much you speak in tongues, no matter how we run up and down in the church, and we have praise praise, there will be no growth. No growth. And that is why persons, you, you see some people that are so anointed, but yet they fall. Because their behavior is not changed. And how do we see transformation? Your mind must be renewed. How is your mind renewed? It is receiving the word of God and applying it in your daily lives. This series is very powerful. Make sure, no matter what you do, beloved, make sure. Some of you, you're going to have to watch it over. You're going to have to take the notes. Just as I was just a general says, she's there and she just, she's soaking in the word. 
and in soaking in the word and meditating on the word, the spirit of God just brought back that thing to her in her mind. And she said, oh my God, this item. Because that is it, you know, that's how you go through with a fine teeth comb. Sometimes you have to go over and go over and go over the word. Yes. Keep continue. Continue. My God. So there are possessions. There are practices. There are personalities. There are people that you have to declutter. But guess what? There are also some pursuits that you have to declutter. Pursuits that you have to, things that you are pursuing, even though they are good things. Uh, don't, don't mean that it is right for you. Because we'll be doing, I, I, I find, I, sometimes I find myself doing some good things. But you know what? It's moving me out of being in right standing with God. My God Almighty. Mm. Yes. I must pursue the things of God. I must pursue the things of God. There's a song that says, As the deer panted for the waters, so my soul longed after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship Thee. Make it your prayer before we leave. As the deer panted for. The water, so my soul longed after thee. You alone, Lord. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You alone are my strength, my shield. You alone doth my spirit yield. You Desire and I long to worship thee. And I long, oh, and I long to worship thee. Chasing after you. I'll be chasing after you. We'll pursue you, Lord, above everything else. I'll forever be chasing after you. Oh, God. I'll forever chase after you I'll forever chase after you yes Lord 
I'll be chasing after you. Father, we will never put anything before you. We will never pursue anything above you. Just as the psalmist David said, Father, mm, one thing have I desire of the Lord. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. That we may pursue after you. That we will seek you. We will find you when we search for you. When we pursue after you with all our hearts. Psalm 42 and verse 1. As the heart panted after the water brook, so panted my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsted for God. For the living God. Lord, we will not allow ministry to distract us. We will not allow anything to separate us. We will not allow the pulpit to separate. We will not pursue the pulpit over your presence. We will not pursue ministry even over your presence. My God, you alone, Lord. Mm. We will not pursue the things of you and forget you. Hallelujah. But I'll forever chase after you. I'll be chasing after you. I'll forever be chasing after you. I'll be chasing after you. Hallelujah. We will not be distracted. We will not be derailed. Father, we know that growth, even though one may plant, even though another may water, but it is you, God, that gives the increase. It is you, God, that causes the growth and the development. It is pursuing after you, Father. Mm. And so we are, we have our blinders on. We have tunnel vision. Our pursuits are only after you today, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for giving and granting the grace for your children to declutter, to cleanse, to evaluate, to pull out, to pluck up, to throw away, to discard all of these things that will keep us away from growing in you. Hallelujah. All of the things that will stunt our growth and development in you. That will stop us from fulfilling our purpose. Even after victories, we pledge to declutter. Even after successes, we will declutter. Even after a season of blessing and triumph, we will declutter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, O oh God, for moving by your spirit. We thank you, O oh God, for releasing this series of Operation Growth. We thank you, O oh God, for this topic of decluttering. We thank you because we know that the hearts and minds of your people, it's good soil and this word is being planted in them. Let them never forget this word, Lord. Let this word always be a reminder to them that we will not rest on our laurels. We will not be complacent, but there's always something to get rid of. 
because this flesh is always fighting against the things of the spirit we're in a war against this flesh and so we must constantly declutter we thank you father for your grace we thank you oh god and we pray even as we go you will go with us lord Cover us under your blood. We pray today that every trap of the enemy, fly every trap of the enemy. We declare every enemy to be destroyed and consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every evil device, we apply the fire of God. Mm. Every counter attack that would come against the people of God because even of this word, plans, weapons that are being formed, we declare, the word of God declares that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And any tongue that is risen up, my God, in judgment, be thou condemned right now. This is the heritage Oh, of the children of God. We are the servants of the Most High God. And we stand in this heritage. This is a covenant that we live by. We accept. We stand on it. The word of God cannot be broken. So no, nothing that comes against us. The gates of hell shall not prevail. My God. We thank you. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Mm. Thank you, Father, for your blessings. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody clap your hands and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite everybody to be online for Bible study tomorrow. We start at 7.45. Make sure that you're online, beloved. We continue. This is the word. This is the word that we're investing in. We're investing in word. A lot of persons are being delivered by the word of God. Yes, yes. It's not by might. It's not by any power. It's not by, beloved, it's not by our own strength. But it is by the grace of God. So, we thank the Lord. We're going to invite everybody to stand. We're going to give an offering. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you just to, if you have an offering, come and, and give an offering. The offering basket is right here to the side. You can sow a seed, sow your offering, and give to the Lord. When you leave today, beloved, let that stay with you. We are pursuing the things of God. We are decluttering. Every other pursuit must be secondary. Every, everything else must be secondary to God. Our jobs are important. Your families, our families are important. Our businesses are important. But they are secondary to the pursuit of God. One thing have I desire of the Lord. That will I seek after that I may dwell. Beloved, continue to dwell in the house of the Lord. No matter what, no matter what, no matter how busy we get, find time to come to the house of God. Find time to come to the house of God. I thank God for you guys. We're always coming to fasting service. Make sure, find the time. Be on Bible study. Find the time. Be here on Sunday. One thing by desire of the Lord. That is to dwell. Mm. Lift your hands for the benediction, beloved. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. I'll forever be chasing after you.
I'll be chasing after you. I'll forever be chasing after you. I'll be chasing after you. We'll pursue you, Lord, over everything else. One thing I desire, mm. it is to dwell, dwell, dwell in your presence. Mm. my spirit is. you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee to dwell, dwell, dwell in your presence. This will be my posture just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. As the dear that for the water so my soul longed to be Lord, 
Lord, if this pulpit will separate me from pursuing you, then Father, fix it. Father, if our jobs, if even ministry will take us away from pursuing you, then today we pray, Father, we fix it. Father, if any amount of money, any amount of money in this world will separate us from pursuing after you, Lord, then fix it. And I long, and I long, and I long to worship thee. to pursue you, Lord. Long, long to worship you. And I long to worship thee. And I'll forever be chasing after you. I'll be chasing after you. I'll forever be chasing after you. One thing I desire, it is to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. And I'll forever be chasing after you. Chasing after you. You alone are my strength, my shield. You alone doth my spirit. desire it is to dwell 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 here forever mm. I'll forever be chasing after you Chasing after you, hmm.
you will know. Oh, be magnified, be magnified, oh Lord, you are highly exalted. Pursuits are on you. Be magnified, oh Lord. Be just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you.
deeper yet, I pray. And I, your everyday wiser, blessed Lord, in thy precious holy word. Deeper yet, I pray. Your every day, wiser, blessed Lord, in thy precious holy word. Deeper yet, I pray. Your every day, wiser, blessed Lord, in thy precious holy word, in thy precious holy In thy precious holy word. In the cross. Where thou hast died, draw me near, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the cross where Thou hast died. Draw. To 
thy precious bleeding side to thy precious bleeding